lots of big news that I want to talk about today because, uh, oof. <laughs> I don't even know how to start this. So I guess we'll just kind of uh, jump into today's video. So uh, in case you're not aware, basically a brand new Kingdom Hearts title has been announced. Now, weirdly enough, I actually already knew the name of this uh, a few days prior because the name of this got leaked a few days prior. Um, in case you're not aware, as is shown here on the screen, it's going to be called Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Now, one thing that a lot of people were speculating when we found out the name of this, Melody of Memory, including myself too, this is what I thought. I figured this was just going to be the name of one of those like orchestra concerts uh, that they, you know, they tend to have every once in a while. Okay. Um, so that's what I thought this was going to be. But lo and behold, it actually ends up being a brand new game. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh, and I'm like, okay, all right. I, I, can get, I was not expecting a new game so soon. I'm not going to lie. I, obviously, I've already watched the trailer. I'm just going to kind of like reenact my thoughts and whatnot uh, while going through the trailer for those, if any of you have not seen it. Kingdom Hearts series no rhythm action game ga I mean... <laughs> okay, um... I'm like, it's a rhythm game? Like, okay, interesting, man. Yeah. I'm like, okay, okay. All right, it's definitely a rhythm game now. And I'm here thinking like, why? Why, okay. I swear there's gotta be a few people, including myself, who were having like the Little Mermaid, like triggering flashbacks <laughs> from Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 while watching this. Um, but at least, at least from what I can tell, it honestly doesn't look too bad. It looks way more entertaining, in my opinion, compared to what what they did for the Lord and Mermaid. This kind of seems a little boring, not gonna lie. But at least what they did before, like this part right here, actually doesn't seem too bad. And it's cool. It, it seems like there's some sort of like little like co-op mode happening here, which I think is pretty dope. Like, if I just rewind that real quick. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, you can see right here, there's, like, a, like, Riku and then Sora on the side. It looks like two people are kind of controlling. So, like, I mean, that's not too bad. It looks like a fun little game. It, it feels kind of like one of those, like, fun little side games for the series that, like, it's like, okay, sure. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like something that I think would warrant a $60, you know, full game title, at least. Because I bet you, if it's just a straight-up normal rhythm game... Not as many people are probably going to care about this game, but due to what's about to happen right here, people are going to get this pretty much for this reason. So, yeah, we got the little, huh? What is this? I have no idea what these guys are saying. I n I'm pretty sure somebody at some point, by this point, has like dug up a translation of this already. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this whole thing in its entirety, and then we'll re rewind it and take a look at what's happening here. Zemnis. Looks like one of Kyrie's memories. So, I mean, it looks pretty dope, not gonna lie. I mean, one of the biggest things, obviously, is the fact that, like, it feels like they're actually making Kairi uh, have a more fleshed out, like, role in the story she doesn't feel so much like a damsel in distress anymore um she feels more like an actual character if that makes sense uh and i, I at least personally for me i really like that aspect of so this this thing the I fact it fades like that it, it kind of uh makes at least to me the only times we've ever seen that type of like like a data thing is obviously when there's like some sort of uh computer or something involved in terms of data so i 
like that this stuff like <laughs> now the question is who's in the arc okay now i believe uh now I've, there is speculation that it's Kyrie inside of the arc right here um which is a reasonable guess considering that like this entire trailer features Kyrie. so i uh, i mean it's possible now the question being like why and how did Kyrie end up in the arc so soon at such a young age? Because this is young Xehanort, okay? Obviously, after he's taken uh, Terra's body. So it's just like, it comes to the question like, how, wh where, how, when, why does this happen type of thing? Uh, yeah. Okay, then we have more of this. This looks like flashbacks from Kyrie's memories, okay? So maybe she's in a machine of some sort, or maybe it's in the same situation as when she's uh, at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, where they're looking back at, uh, at the end of Remind, they're like looking back at, trying to look at Kyrie's memory or her, her heart, or I guess you could say, uh, for like the past year or something, trying to find traces of Sora. Um, maybe it could be a situation grabbed from here, grabbed from there or something like that. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to say about this is that obviously most people think this is mom. Okay. Master of masters. However, and that would make sense considering the fact that obviously, of course, if you take the acronym of Melody of Memory, it spells mom. Haha, <laughs> big spoiler. However, one thing I do want to point out is the fact that, let's go back a little bit, yeah. One thing I want to point out is that just because he's wearing the black coat like this doesn't necessarily mean it has to be mom. It could easily be someone else who has a black coat, all right? Now, who could that be? Have no idea. For all you know, this could easily be Xehanort. You have no idea. That's what I'm saying. Um, and we can't recognize the voice either. There's no English version at the moment. So, yeah, it, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know Nomura. You know Nomura is going to throw some weird curveball. I'm like, ha this is actually my disciple uh, all along. He's doing my dirty work for me while I'm doing something else. Like, you don't know that type of stuff. Like, you have no idea. You have no idea. I'm assuming that's the reason why she, uh, her heart shards or whatever it was got shattered in the first place. And that's how Sora finds them. So it looks like here Kyrie actually wakes up. Which is kind of notable because remember at the end of Remind, you find out like, or Kingdom Hearts 3, whatever, uh, Kyrie's been sleeping for a year in order for them to uh, research about her heart. Okay. Uh, try and find some, some trace of Sora. So this is actually grabbing cutscenes that are taking place directly after Kingdom Hearts 3, which is pretty interesting. Okay. I didn't think they would do like new like story type stuff already so soon and then we're back here my biggest question is how the hell did riku get in here okay we've seen sora and kairi coming here obviously uh just because like well they kind of had to i mean sora obviously just in order to like recollect himself um and find all the shards and whatnot, but Kairi and Kairi is a freaking princess of light. How did Riku come here? That's my like. <laughs> did he also figure out how to uh, awaken that power? Uh, what's it called? The uh, power of awakening. Is that what it is? Did he obtain that power too? So that would be the only explanation to me as to how he even got here in the first place um and then that makes the difference like now that they're coming to this area does that mean that they are gonna potentially time travel because remember this is how sora started doing time travel in the first place was by coming to this uh this world what was this called the world that never was or something uh, maybe that's a different one. i don't remember it's been a while yeah i i don't know i <sighs> I don't, I don't know, this scene alone is what helped make me, like, doubt that this is actually the Master of Masters. Because, like, this is such a big tease. Such a big tease that I'm just like, I, I don't feel like Square Enix would reveal who the Master of Masters is so soon. You know what I mean? Like, I it just feels too soon. I don't know if I can buy that he would actually, or at least I don't think I would buy that they would actually show who it is so quickly.
it's very possible though, possible that it might easily be something like uh where he reveals his face to Kyrie, assuming it is the master of masters um he reveals his face to Kyrie, but they don't actually show his face on screen you know what i mean where it just shows like Kyrie's reaction to who it is if that makes sense i feel like that would be the more likely route that they would take just to kind of help shroud his identity for a little bit longer if that makes sense this I, I, that one scene alone i feel like that's such a such a tease and then when the game comes around they're gonna completely blue ball you and just be like nope you don't actually get to see it but anyways it is coming this year in 2020 which again is also surprising like i wasn't expecting a new game so soon considering it came it's coming so soon i'm willing to bet like it the game itself probably wasn't that difficult to make. It's a freaking rhythm game. Like, come on. Um, I'm I'm expecting the price to be around forty dollars because it does, or around forty ish dollars because or less, uh, considering the fact that it doesn't look like it's like that big of a game, like a major release if that makes sense. Um, and again, it is coming out on PlayStation Four, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. I think it's better on the Nintendo Switch. It looks like a game that would be better on the Nintendo Switch, but if you don't have one, obviously you can play it on major consoles as well. So, other than that, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about the trailer in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way not when I upload more videos such as this one. Big thank you to all my members and patrons for the channel. You are of great help. Thank you for sticking with me for so long. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Peace, y'all.